guys, this is Sarah from Vampire and Other Paranormal Things Clean, and today I am bringing you my quarterly wrap up. Wrap up. Yeah. For the month of January through May. And, let's see, can I do one of those little thumbnails? These are just, I know it doesn't look like much, but I promise I've read more. So, okay, let's get started. So, basically what a quarterly wrap-up is, is I will be showcasing you the books that I read each month for four months, and I will tell you the name, author, and what I rated it, and at the end of this video I will showcase my favorite books that I read from the quarter. Okay, and if I do not own a physical copy of the book to show you what it looks like, I will leave a link of that book down below, and you can go and check it out. So let's start with the month of January. Okay. The Road by Cormac McCarthy. 2.25 stars. Charming by Crystal Wade. 3 stars. Goodbye Guys by Ryohana Nada. That was going to happen. 2 stars. Saga Volume 1 by Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples. 5 stars. Opposition by Jennifer L. Armantrout, 5 stars. Shadows by Jennifer L. Armantrout, 5 stars. And for the month of February, Saga, Volume 2 by Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples, 5 stars. The Things They Carried by Tim O'Brien, 3.5 stars. Siege and Storm by Leigh Bardugo, 5 stars. Breathe by Elena Dillon, 2.25 stars. Outcast by Robert Kirkman and Paul Azaketa, 4.5 stars. <laughs> Ruin and Rising by Leigh Verdugo, 5 stars. Saga, Volumes 3 and 4 by Brian K. Vaughan and Fiona Staples. Both of these are 5 stars. And in March... The Ruby Circle. I don't have my copy. My mom is reading it. By Rochelle Mead. Five stars. Manga Classics Les Miserables. Les Miserables. By Victor Hugo and some creator who I did not write down. But four stars. The Hobbit. By J.R.R. Tolkien. 3.75 stars. April. The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain, 2 stars. Give to the Heart, Volumes 1 and 2 by Juan. Volume 1 is 4 stars and Volume 2 is 3.5 stars. And Forgive Me, Leonard Peacock by Matthew Quick, 4.5 stars. So, for the month of January, I didn't really read too much, really, because it was kind of hectic, but... My favorites are Saga Volume 1 and Opposition and Shadows. And Saga, it's obviously amazing. I mean, everyone raves about it and it, it, it's great. And just look at the art. Loved it. Opposition and Shadows. Opposition is the wrap up and conclusion to the Lux series. And I really, really enjoyed it. It's nothing spectacular, but it's just really fun and it's something that I just really enjoyed reading. And Shadows is the prequel to the whole series and it follows Dawson and Bethany. And it was really cute and it was sweet and it was kind of fun to read something that wasn't from Damon and Katie's perspective. For the month of February, God, I read a lot of books in February actually. I'm pretty proud of myself. And that's like most of my favorites were in February actually. Ooh, yeah. So of course I have Saga Volumes 2, 3, and 4 by Brian K. Vaughan and Fiona Staples. And basically it's the same thing. I also love like the cover art on the back. God, I'm horrible. Oh well. And then I finally finished the Grisha Trilogy by Leigh Bardugo, Siege and Storm, and Ruin and Rising. And I really, really enjoyed these two installments. And I know a lot of people were disappointed in the Grisha Trilogy, but I felt that the conclusion wrapped up very smoothly, and I really enjoyed it. Obviously, five stars. And then for the month of March, it was a very, very slow month. I read The Ruby Circle, which was my favorite of the month. I loved The Ruby Circle. Um, 
It's not the strongest in the Bloodline series, but it's a good solid conclusion and it gave me all the feels. All the feels. And then for the month of April, my favorite book is Forgive Me Leonard Peacock by Matthew Quick. And I listened to the audiobook of it and oh my god. Oh my god. Just go and read that book now. Forgive Me Leonard Peacock is so good. It's about a boy who on his birthday brings a Nazi weapon to school and he plans on killing his best friend. That is the most harrowing not like ooh. The audiobook had me in tears, and I kind of recommend reading the audiobook instead of reading it because I feel like it's easier to connect to Matthew, not Matthew, <laughs> Leonard Peacock, but Matthew Quick's writing was phenomenal, and I really loved how he portrayed this guy who kind of like, he reminded me a lot of Tate Langdon, and I loved it. So this is my quarterly wrap-up for the months of January and April, and I hope you enjoyed.